This is project four, video number one, the pencil and paper part. See, we got uh, a lens situation, and I'm going to use the lens equation. Solve for I. So I subtract one over O from both sides. Then I'll take the reciprocal of both sides. One over one over F minus one over O. It'll give me uh, the image distance, and then I think I'm ready to uh, write the outline of the code. So uh, try. I'll try not number them in case I gotta stick extra ones in. But uh, I think I'll go ahead and calculate what I need to calculate. So uh, calculate. I and then uh, print everything that I need to print. So, uh, if F is less than zero, um, print or uh, I think I'll use the, the MATLAB command display. I just say print. I don't want to get too fancy there. So print um, the lens is a diverging lens. else print the lens is a converging lens so negative focal length all right, I think that's good. I guess if the focal length is zero, um, it's not really a lens, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm not going to worry about the f is equal to zero case. So then. Uh, I gotta say what the focal length of the lens is. The focal length. So uh, I get uh, f and uh, something else. Uh, uh, f and o from the user, and uh, the focal length of the lens and the object distance length. I'll just print. I gotta say, print that. Is and then we write num to string. A string is a string of characters of F and uh, takes care of item 2 on our list of things that we got to print print out what the object distance is that's given uh, the I think I use caps there the object distance is num to string 
of O. So again, O is given by the user. It's one of the arguments. And then print. What else we got? Uh, print with the image distances. So print the image distance. is num to string of i num to string of i And after the image distance, I got to print whether it's uh, real or virtual. So let's say uh, if i is less than zero, print the image is virtual. else uh, print the image is real so I'm not going to worry about the case where i is equal to zero so it's uh, at the same position as uh, the lens alright what else have we got real or virtual then comes right side up or upside down so uh, I need to calculate the magnification and uh, I think I'll take a look at doing that up here ah so uh, in my calculations section I also need to uh, calculate the magnification is a capital M equals minus I over O and I think that's all I need um, I think I'll go ahead and uh, say calculate that so and M equals minus I over O. So calculate that early on. So uh, whether the image is right side up or upside down. So I think I'll go if M is less than zero print The image is inverted um, else print the image is right side up. then uh, what the magnification of the lens is oh for crying out loud I forgot to say print so print
num to string of m. And uh, I think that does it. So uh, the function doesn't have to work for cases in which the image distance is infinite. And I'm also not worrying about cases where, uh, if it's possible mathematically, for instance, if uh, i is exactly equal to zero. Actually, if uh, i is equal to zero, it's going to be printing the image is real. But I don't think uh, actually I have to worry about that case. All right, print the magnification of the lens is that. All right, that does it for uh, video number one for project number four.